In this video, I'm gonna give you my top 10 safety razors of 2020. Stay tuned. Hey there folks, and welcome back to another video. I'm your host CDB. Thanks so much for joining me again for this top 10 list. This is my top 10 safety razors of 2020. And let me caveat, when I say top 10, I mean enjoyment. I just really enjoyed using these razors uh, this year. These were my most enjoy enjoyable safety razors used and they're in no particular order. Let's just go ahead and get started. The first one, Razor Rock Hawk version three, stainless steel, comes to you by way of Italian Barber for $69.99. Now this razor is an Artist Club style razor. And as you can see, relative to a DE, I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's wider. So the blades are wider uh, on the Artist Club style razor. Single edge, really, really excellent value. This is a steel at $69.99, medium uh, aggressive. However, they have an OC plate that's a little more aggressive, and then they have an A plate that's even more aggressive. So you can get plate offerings there, and the razor itself, stainless steel, um, $69.99, you cannot beat the value. Razor Rock, really, when it comes to stainless steel hardware, they continue to dominate the value offering. Just excellent, excellent offering. Next up is the Charcoal Razor Level 2. Now, these are difficult to get a hold of because Charcoal hasn't been making a lot of razors as of late. I just love this razor. I was actually able to get it back uh, this year. Um, this one is Level 2. It's probably in the realm of the entry level of medium in terms of efficiency, but the thing that always strikes me about this razor is just how great it looks. I believe this is brass, if I'm not mistaken. It's copper or brass, I can't really recall, but it is an excellent razor. If you can get your hands on one of these, specifically that look like these, it is an excellent shaver, pricey. I can't even remember how much this originally cost. It was probably in the realm of 250-ish, so pricey razor. Um, but this is one that'll never leave the den. Again, I absolutely love this razor, charcoal goods razor. Next up, we have another, what I would consider to be a value offering, and that is Carve. The key with Carve is finding the plates or plate that you like. Now, Carve has open comb plates. Carve has uh, safety bar plates. Um, both work really, really well. What I found was the first time I ever tried Carve, had like a B and C plate. I didn't find that it was quite efficient as I would like, so I didn't like it. Then this year, revisited with some more aggressive plates, and man, oh man, what a tremendous razor this is. And it comes at a good value, $78 for a complete razor, American dollars. And the plates are $23. So you can get uh, yourself your, a helping of plates of your choice for not a ton of money. It is a really well-crafted razor. The only thing about the carve is you do have to wait for it. But in my opinion, at its price for the brass, of under $100, it's it's worth the wait to wait on the, one of these. Just make sure you get the plate that agrees with you. Coming up next, uh, for me, another offering that I think is a fantastic value, <sighs> Razor Rock Lupo. It is absolutely one of my favorite razors of tw 2020, uh, for sure. This one comes to you for $89.99. Now, this one is stainless steel with DLC coating. Now, at some point in the near future, Razor Rock's gonna come out with uh, Lupos that are just regular stainless steel, and a lot of people, I think, prefer those. But this one, I love it. It is reminiscent of the Wolfman in its um, shave. It's got a narrow head that I really, really like. And again, Razor Rock with stainless steel razors, they're really difficult uh, to beat. Next up is a razor I actually don't have here right now. It is on loan to Nate. Uh, from BBS Live or Los Angeles Skeletor, <laughs> and that is the Timeless Slim Edition. It's got that 0.5 blade gap. I'll go ahead and show you a picture of sort of half the head right there because I just don't have it to show you. Timeless sent that razor the end of this year. Um, I used it like five times and it was fantastic. I absolutely loved it. It is on loan right now with Nate, but it it is absolutely a marvelous razor. The prices on this, it varies depending on the options that you choose. They start out at around 185 to 195 and they can go upwards of, you know, who knows, depending on the option, 250 probably if you get all the scallop top cap and all this and that. But it is really a tremendous razor and I really enjoyed it in 2020. Coming up next, this one 
is the Rex Ambassador. However, I traded my Ambassador, or excuse me, I traded my Envoy for the Ambassador. If you get the Envoy, it is not adjustable, two-piece razor. It is superb, excellent razor. But again, I traded my Envoy for the more expensive Ambassador. This one comes to you at 249. Uh, to my knowledge, it is the only fully adjustable uh, razor that's made in the United States. Two-piece design. The Envoy is also two-piece design. Your, well, if I can unscrew it there, top cap comes off. It is very, very well made. If you if you don't want adjustable, go with the Envoy 125. If you do want an adjustable razor, go with the Ambassador. Tremendous, tremendous shavers, both. I really, really like both offerings. The knurling on this is the best in the game. It is just, it's not sharp to the touch, but it's extremely grippy. Excellent razor, Rex, Envoy, or Ambassador. Coming up next, another great value offering. Again, Razor Rock dominating the stainless steel value offerings. This is the Game Changer 0.884. This, again, is a steal at $54.99 from Italian Barber, made in Canada. Again, this the way this shaves is reminiscent uh, of the Wolfman Razor. Slim head, really nicely done. Uh, the handles that I have on my Razor Rock razors um, that are regular stainless steel, or they're called the Halo handles, which I like a lot. This one is just, you just can't beat it for the money. It is it is the king of value in stainless steel razors without a doubt, without a doubt. Razor Rock, game changer once again. Really, really excellent offering. Coming up next, a razor that was gifted to me by Jimmy of NYC uh, Wet Shaving. This is the Edwin Jagger 316. And I used this one not a ton, but maybe four to five times, and I absolutely love it. Now, the reason that I haven't used these razors a ton this year, I was straight shaving, I was shavette shaving, and so I didn't shave as much with safety razors, but every time I used this, I absolutely loved it. It is a 316 stainless on the head, and this handle, the colored ones, uh, is aluminum, at least this part of it. I really enjoy the shave that this razor um, provides. It's a little more efficient, I think, than, than the uh, Edwin Jagger uh, DE89. Well-built, very attractive, nice fit and finish. Really nice razor that I really appreciated in 2020. Edwin Jagger 316. Next up, we have the Rockwell 6C, and I'm gonna put a slash in there and also say 6S. The 6C is the version that has the, this is pop metal or an alloy, uh, however, you can get the 6S, which is stainless steel. The This particular version is about 50 bucks. The stainless steel is about 100. And if you go for the colors, they're like 130-ish, because you can get red, blue, black, and so on. But this one is the gunmetal finish in the 6C, and this is another adjustable razor. And the way these um, razors adjust is you flip over the plate. So you'll get three plates, one, two, three, four, five, six, with six being the highest in efficiency and one being the lowest, and you just flip it to whichever plate you prefer. It is a tremendous value offering. Whether you get the 6C, which again comes to you for about 50 bucks, or the stainless 6S at 100 bucks, really good deal, really outstanding shaver in my opinion. And last, but certainly not least, I couldn't leave this off the list. And if any of you out there are experienced, you know what this is. This is the Merker 34C. One of the greatest razors ever, ever produced. Not crazy expensive, about $35 to $40. Two-piece design. This is one of the first safety razors ever used and still one of the best. I got this one and the Edwin Jagger DE89. Both are fantastic, but I found that I really prefer the 34C. Mild shaver. I believe these, these are still made in Germany, but it gets the job done. And I know it's ignored a lot of times today because they say it's a beginner's razor. It's not a beginner's razor. It's great for beginners, but it's also good for any sort of shaver that knows how to shave as far as I'm concerned. It is a fantastic offering, again, with that two-piece design. It's a classic, in my opinion, for a reason. It still holds up after all these years. Now, please, please, please let me know in the comments below what your top lists are of 2020. What are your 10, five or 10 favorite safety razors? I'm very interested to know, and I wanna thank you for joining me 
for this video. I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.